Hello, I'm Ridge Bowman with NASA's Office of Inspector General. NASA's in the process of developing two mobile launchers at the Kennedy Space Center. Critical equipment that will serve as the ground structure to launch the agency's new rocket known as the Space Launch System, or SLS. SLS is a two-stage heavy lift rocket that will carry the Orion crew capsule into space. With the advent of NASA's accelerated lunar program known as Artemis, the mobile launcher has required large-scale modifications to support early versions of the SLS rocket. At the same time, agency officials are developing a second mobile launcher at a cost of more than $485 million for future, larger SLS variants. After nearly a decade of development, the first mobile launcher is nearing completion. We found that NASA has greatly exceeded its cost and schedule targets in developing Mobile Launcher 1. Specifically, as of January 2020, the project has cost $693 million, $308 million more than the agency's original budget estimate. Additionally, development of the launcher is more than three years behind schedule. The agency's acquisition approach, coupled with immature SLS requirements, resulted in design errors and integration challenges that drove the project's cost increases and schedule delays. Looking ahead, the project faces a risk of further cost increases and schedule slippage as it completes testing and undergoes modifications for the second Artemis launch. That said, we found that NASA will use lessons learned from the design and development of Mobile Launcher 1 when it builds Mobile Launcher 2. Specifically, NASA is utilizing a single contract to both design and build the second Mobile Launcher. The agency believes this will address a majority of the communication and integration issues that occurred with Mobile Launcher 1. Despite these positive steps, we found that NASA is missing opportunities to improve project management and oversight of Mobile Launcher 2. First, the project schedule is risky due to anticipated changes in vehicle load requirements for the Orion crew capsule and later variations of the SLS. Second, the contract utilizes award fees that may limit the agency's ability to effectively motivate the contractor to control costs. Finally, NASA's approach to managing the project lacks key project management requirements that would improve oversight and transparency. To address these challenges, we made four recommendations to NASA to improve potential outcomes of Mobile Launcher 2 development. To read the OIG full report, please visit our website at oig.nasa.gov.